Ibn al-Haytham. Ibn al-Haytham, also known as al-Hazan, was a renowned polymath who made significant contributions to various fields, including physics, mathematics, astronomy, and optics. Born in Basra, Iraq, around 965 CE, Ibn al-Haytham's pioneering work and revolutionary ideas had a profound impact on the development of scientific thought during the Islamic Golden Age. Ibn al-Haytham's most notable achievements lie in the field of optics. His groundbreaking treatise, Kitab al-Manazir, Book of Optics, challenged existing theories on vision and light, laying the foundation for the modern science of optics. In this influential work, he presented a detailed analysis of light, its properties, and its behavior. Ibn al-Haytham questioned the prevailing belief that light emanated from the eye and proposed that light rays entered the eye, enabling the process of vision. Furthermore, Ibn al-Haytham conducted extensive experiments and observations to study the nature of light and its interaction with various media. He investigated the phenomenon of reflection and formulated accurate explanations based on the principle of light rays bouncing off surfaces. His work on refraction, the bending of light as it passes through different mediums, paved the way for the development of lenses and the understanding of how the eye perceives objects. Ibn al-Haytham's contributions to optics were not limited to theoretical analysis. He designed and built the first camera obscura, a precursor to modern cameras, which allowed for the projection of images by passing light through a small aperture into a darkened room or box. This invention demonstrated the principles of how light travels in straight lines and played a vital role in the advancement of both optics and visual arts. Beyond optics, Ibn al-Haytham made notable contributions to the field of mathematics. He worked extensively on geometry, particularly the study of conic sections, and developed innovative methods for calculating their properties. He also explored the mathematics of light, investigating the angles of incidence and reflection. In addition to his scientific pursuits, Ibn al-Haytham was a proponent of the scientific method. He emphasized the importance of experimentation, observation, and empirical evidence in understanding the natural world. His writings highlighted the need for rigorous scientific investigation and the necessity of subjecting theories to experimental verification. Ibn al-Haytham's impact on the scientific community extended beyond his own era. His works were translated into Latin during the medieval period and became influential in European scientific thought. Scholars such as Roger Bacon and Johannes Kepler drew inspiration from his ideas, further propagating his scientific legacy. The contributions of Ibn al-Haytham to optics, mathematics, and the scientific method have solidified his place as one of the greatest scholars of the Islamic Golden Age. His pursuit of knowledge, meticulous experiments, and groundbreaking theories continue to inspire scientists and researchers to this day. Ibn al-Haytham's work serves as a testament to the power of curiosity, critical thinking, and empirical investigation in unlocking the mysteries of the natural world. Contributions 1. He was an outstanding mathematician, physiologist, and optician. 2. He is more known for his optical works which were translated into Latin. 3. He explained the refraction of light rays through transparent objects, discovered magnifying lenses, and the function of the retina as the seat of vision. 4. He identified gravity as a force, a theory which was later on developed by Newton. 5. He observed the semi-lunar shape of the image of the sun during eclipses on a wall opposite a fine hole in the window shutters the first record of the camera obscura. Death. He died in Cairo in AD 1039. His famous books are. Uyunul Uriba fi Tabakat et Atiba. Kitab al-Manazir. On Twilight Phenomena. Mazan al-Hikmah.